في حلقه جديده من اكسبيرينس اي يو اي دوت كوم في هذه السيريه ديال الويبينار لي ويبينار كيما عطينا لكم موعد مع الخمسه تلاقينا ديجا مع الثلاثه شكرا للناس اللي كاينين معنا من جو من من ثلاثه والناس الجداد اللي التحقوا بنا مرحبا بكم مره اخرى فتحنا ابواب كليه علوم الانسانيه والعلوم الاجتماعيه الانسانيات عفوا والعلوم الاجتماعيه سكول اوف هيومانيتيز اند سوشيال ساينسز هضرنا على الاندرجراد بروجرام تعرفتوا على مجموعه من الاختصاصات اللي كتعطيها هذه الكليه هذه والان حان الوقت باش نتذكروا على الماسترز بروجرام غادي نهضروا على الشعب اللي فيه غنهضروا على التخصصات اللي فيه وغنهضروا ايضا على الدراسات وايضا لي زوبورتونيتي اوبورتونيتيز فور ذا جوب Market with different professors is the chance for you to get to know this school better. Before starting, of course, for those who are tuning in for the first time, أول مرة لغدي التحقوا بنا في هذا الويبينار. نذكركم ربما وعجالة على كيفية التعامل مع الانترفيس ديال experienceaui.com كما كتشوفوا كين الصورة ولكن كينين three tabs on your right part of the screen. الأول طاب اللولة هي chat وعندها علاقة مع general discussions فين تنهضروا كذا نهضروا بعضياتنا تقدروا تجاوبوا على الكويس باسكو ديغون هذا الويبينار خاصكم تركزوا معنا مزيان على المعلومات اللي غادي نبارطاجيوها معكم حيت غادي نطرحوا عليكم اسئله واللو اللي غيقدر يجاوب في تشات تاب غادي يربح واحد سويت شيرت آه واعر بزاف غادي نشوفوا في الصوره آه بعض اللحظات سويت شيرت ديال جامعه الاخوين خطوه اولى ربما آه في الطريق ديالكم الى جامعه الاخوين ها هي الصوره كتبان عندكم دابا في لو لايف السكند تاب اللي هي عندها علاقه مع الكويستشنز الاسئله علاش عندنا تاب مخصص للكويستشنز باش تقدر تسهل علينا احنا الماموريه باش نمشيو نشوفوا الاسئله ديالكم ونقدروا نجاوبوا عليها بطريقه احسن بي مور افيشنت ان انسرينغ اول يور كويستشنز الا كان عندكم سؤال تاكدوا انكم تطرحوه في الكويستشن تاب الا كان عندكم شي سؤال لقيتوا بلي هذاك السؤال ديجا مطروح ما عليكم غير تاب فوتيو هذاك السؤال اللي كيخلي اننا كنشوفوا اكثر لانه كيطلع في الكلاسمون والرانكينغ ديال الكويستشنز وهذاك دائما كلهم مجهودات باش نقدروا نجاوبوا على جميع الاسئله ديالكم الثالث آه، تاب اللي هي بولز وكان سخ... بولز وكان استخو فيها الاراء نتاعكم آه، وطوال هذا آه، اللايف والويبينار غادي نطرحوا لكم مجموعه من الاسئله ونشكركم على التفاعل ديالكم والاجوبه ديالكم اللي كتمكننا من معرفه ربما شنو هما ال... شنو هما لي بروغرام اللي انتريسين آه بهم آه ان شاء الله ان توكا فوالا سعيد جدا بلقيكم سميتي يوسف قصير وانا خريج جامعه الاخوان وانا سعيد جدا اليوم بالخصوص لانني معكم باللايف في الهواء الطلق مع ارتفاع مع رفع الحجر الصحي ولكن كتشوفوني ملابس كمامه لان الفريق التقني بعيد عليا الضيوف ديالي تاهما غادي يكونوا بعاد عليا ببضعه امتار باش نبقاو متاخذين الحيطه والحضر وجميع لي كونديسيون ديال السكيورتي And I hope that all of you are also safe out there. نذكركم أيضا بأن الحلقة السابقة ديجا متوفرة على experienceaui.com. تقدروا تفرجوا فيها on replay just after the end of this webinar. تركنا the School of Business Administration, Science and Engineering. في حلقة الفارغة تقدروا تشوفوها في experienceaui.com. حان الوقت لفتح الباب ديال كلية الإنسانيات والعلوم الاجتماعية في الماستر بروجرام ديالها في الجرادويت بروجرام ديالها وضيف جالي الاول هو دكتور عبد الرحيم اقناو اللي غادي يتحدث لنا اولا ربما على الكليه دكتور اقناو السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله اهلا سي يوسف شكرا لك تو هاف يو هير جود جود تو بي باك جريت جريت اتس ريلي ا بليجر تو سي اور الومناي فيري اكتيف اند باك هوم وير دي بيلونغ ثانك يو فيري ماتش سو يا اي كان توك ا ليتل بيت اباوت اور سكول اي مين ذس از ذا سكول اوف هيومانيتيز اند سوشيال ساينسز وهنا يمكن لنا نفتح واحد القوس باش ناكد المشاهدين ديالنا الكرام بانه حنايا كليه الانسانيات والعلوم الاجتماعيه ماشي كليه الاداب والعلوم الانسانيه <تصفيق> حيت كيكون واحد الخلطه عند مجموعه من الناس كتحب مش حنايا عندنا تخصص في الاداب <تصفيق> حنا ما كنتخصصوش في الاداب عندنا تخصصات اخرى <تصفيق> آه ربما شفتوا الويبينار الاخر اللي كيهضر على تخصصات في مجال آه يعني الدراسات الاوليه <تصفيق> او الاندرغراد حنا دابا في دراسات الماجستير او الماستر في في الماستر عندنا خمسه ديال البرامج عندنا البرنامج الاقدم اللي هو انترناشونال ستاديز اند دبلوماسي دونك هذا ماستر للناس اللي بغاو يعملوا في مجال الدبلوماسيه ومجال العلاقات الدوليه والتنميه المشتركه بين الدول الى غير ذلك كاين برنامج نورث افريكان ستاديز انه ميدل ايسترن ستاديز اللي هو متخصص سواء في 
التاريخ وهذا كل برنامج غيتحدث عليه واحد من الزملاء ديالنا باسهاب الثالث هو هيومن ريسورس ديفلوبمنت رابع الاسلاميك ريليجيس ستاديز والخامس اللي هو جديد اللي غنتحدث عليه انا اليوم اللي هو كوميونيكيشن ستاديز اند ديجيتال ميديا اذا ربما نبداو دكتور اغنا وعرب الناس اللي كيتفرجوا فينا ينستقيوا الاراء ديالهم الاوليه لان البول موجود عندكم في البول ستاب تقدروا ديجا تعطيونا الراي ديالكم شنو هو شنو هو البروغرام اللي يو ار انترستد ان از ات هيومن ريسورس ديفلوبمنت كوميونيكيشن ستاديز اند ديجيتال ميديا انترناشونال ستاديز اند ديبلوماسي اسلاميك ريليجيس ستاديز واللي غادي نطرقوا عليه لان يقدر يكون خالط ويسحب الناس باللي هو ماجستير يعني في العلوم الاسلاميه كان حنا كنتعلموا على العلوم الاجتماعيه المتعلقه بالاسلام وغادي نطرقوا لهذا هذا هذا الشطر هذا والنورث افريكان اند ميدل ايسترن ستاديز اذا فوالا بعجله هضرنا على لي بروغرام اللي كاينين في في البروغرام ديال ماجستير دكتور ربما الاضافه اللي خصني نعم. نزيد لهذه المساله ولكن غادي يتحدثوا عليها الزملاء فيما بعد هو انه البرامج ديال الماستر عندنا كاملين كيتموا في 12 شهر نعم يعني السنه دراسيه كامله ماشي تسعه اشهر ولكن 12 شهر يعني عوض سنتين في بعض الكليات وفي بعض الجامعات سواء في المغرب او في الخارج 12 شهر يعني انه الطلبه كيبداو في اخر اسبوع من شهر غشت وكيساليو في شهر سبتمبر ديال السنه المواليه نعم. يعني 12 شهر ممكن يكمل فيه البروغرام كامل تركنا في... لهذه الخاصيه في واحد الحلقه كانت مخصصه للماسترز بروغرام وهذا شيء اللي جميل وجميل جدا لان 12 شهر بالنسبه للناس مثلا اللي ديجا في, في الميدان ديال العمل وباغين يكملوا الدراسه ديالهم وكيعرفوا اكزاكتومون بلا خاصهم 12 12 شهر ولكن البروغرام ديال 12 شهر اللي هو كومبلي ياك يا دكتور اغنا وفي تماماً. جميع الاشياء تماما <تصفيق> بالنسبه للناس اللي هما مشتغلين ديجا في الميدان وما بغاو يعملوا واحد من هاد التخصصات ربما يكون لهم اسهل باش ياخذوا سكون ابيل ميزا ديسبوزيسيون يجي يقرا مثلا في سنه على انهم ياخذوا سنتين وربما الوقت ديالهم ما يسمحش ربما طبيعه العمل ديالهم ربما يمكن لهم شي مشوا ربما ما يمكن لهم حتى يعني فاينانشلي سبيكن انه يكونوا بعيد على ميدان الشغل مده عامين دونك في 12 شهر خصوصا بالنسبه للناس اللي ما يحتاجوش سكون ابيل فاونديشن كورسز الوغ جوستوم هذا هو السؤال اللي كنا غادي نطرحوا لانه سؤال عنده واحد الشعبيه وشعبيه كبيره ملي بدينا هذا الويبينار الناس كيطرحوا السؤال انا ما قريتش في جامعه الاخوين في الاندر جراد بغيت نابلاي فور ماستر ديجري هنا في جامعه الاخوين What are the conditions? Okay. ممكن واللغه الانجليزيه واخا هي اللغه الرسميه للتدريس الا ان اللغه الانجليزيه ماشي هي معيار ديال القبول بالجامعه نعم. ولكن المعايير الاخرى اللي هي المهمه هي كيكون واحد دراسه الملف بالنسبه للناس ديال الماستر ما كنديروش يعني شي كونكو ولا شي حاجه ولكن دراسه الملف وعلى ضوء ديك الملف والمقابله الشفويه اللي كتتم ما بين يعني الاساتذه ديال الشعبه والمترشحين كي ديسيديو هاد هاد اللجنه هادو على شنو هما سكون ابيل هاد الفاونديشن كورسز وشحال من واحد خصهم ياخذوا بغض النظر على واش عندهم انجليزيه ولا ما عندهمش الا ما عندهمش انجليزيه يقدروا يعملوا لانجويج سنتر ولا عندهم الانجليزيه ولكن ما عندهمش هاد هاد الخلفيه ولا هاد التكوين فيما قبل ولا الباك جراوند ممكن لهم انه ياخذوا فاونديشن كورسز يقدر يكون غير واحد يقدر يكون جوج يقدر يكون ثلاثه وهذه النقطه مهمه دكتور اكنا اسمح لي غنلقاش قطعتك لان كتكون واحد الدراسه بلاص ما يكون ان كونكور اللي ربما كلشي كيتحط في نفس المستوى وما كناخذوش بعين الاعتبار الخاصيات ديال الدراسه السابقه ديال كل طالب هنا تنطرقوا لكل ملف على حده باش يمكن لنا اننا نعطيو جميع الحظوظ لهذا الطالب باش انه ينجح في البروغرام ديال الماجستير ديالو دكتور اغنا تسمح لي واحد الدقيقه لان ربما كان سمعت ربما بدا اذان صلاه العصر لا مازال انا يعني سمعت في دماغي شوف لا كاين اذان يعني في الحي المجاور ها ها هو سهل ذكر الله اكبر ناخذ واحد واحد لو بتيت بوز بالنسبه للناس اللي كيتفرجوا فينا نعود جوست ابخي الاذان ديال صلاه العصر Ya 
اذا كنا كنتحدثوا على الطلبه اللي ربما ما دازوش ما مروش من الاندرغراد بروجرامز هنا في جامعه الاخوان بغاو يلتحقوا بماستر هنا في جامعه الاخوان اذا الامكانيه كاينه بطبيعه الحال كاين دراسه مدققه لجميع الملفات من اجل غرض واحد وهو سهل جدا هو ان يرفعوا الحظوظ ديال جميع الطلبه بانهم يتفوقوا في الماجستير ديالهم دكتور اغنا هذا تماما فعوض يكون كونكور اللي غادي ربما يقصي واحد مجموعه من الطلبه اللي هو احنا لي كريتير ولا المعايير ديال الولوج للجامعه هي ما ما كتعلقش ب يعني بواحد ديبلوم في تخصص معين ممكن يكون عنده تخصص مختلف على التخصص اللي باغي يعمل في الماستر انه يدفع الملف ديالو ونشوفه وربما ملي نديروا مع الحوار يقدر يكون عنده حدود لان مجموعه من التخصصات اللي عندنا هي مالتي ديسيبلينري ولا انتر ديسيبلينري يعني كتقدر تنهل من مجموعه من التخصصات لان كيكون فيها واحد التمازج بين هذا التخصصات يعني مثلا نقدر نكون انا خريج ديال جامعه بزنس بزنس سكول مثلا ولكن عندي واحد الاهتمام بواحد من المجالات في العلوم الاجتماعيه وباغي نكمل الدراسه ديالي ولا حكم التجربه ديالي العمليه فتحات لي واحد العيون ديالي على واحد المجال اللي باغي نتخصص فيه ولا نتعرف عليه اكثر فهذا ممكن ولكن كما هضرتي كاين بيان سور هضرنا على اللانجويج سنتر ولكن هضرتي على واحد واحد الفاونديشن كورسز يعني خاص واحد الدروس اللي يمكن ربما الناس اللي جايين من هذيك الشعبه بغا يديروا فيها تخصص ديجا عندهم واللي ما كايناش عند شي واحد جاي من شعبه اخرى فاش هاد الفاونديشن كورسز كيتخاذوا كما قلتي على حسب الدراسه ديال الملف ولكن واش كياثروا على هذاك 12 شهر اللي باش ياخذ الماستر آه هي ممكن ما تاثرش تماما لان الفاونديشن كورسز الان خدينا واحد القرار بانه ما يكونوا كاملين آه عن بعد اونلاين يعني ممكن الطالب يتسجل في واحد البرنامج من البرامج اللي عندنا الخمسه اللي كلها في 12 شهر وياخذ الفاونديشن كورسز اونلاين هاد الفاونديشن كورسز الا كان الطالب جاي من جامعه الاخوين يعني داز في في هذا يعني السيستم النظام يعني التكوين الامريكي ممكن انه يتجاوزهم كاملين وربما ربما ياخذ غير واحد م. مثلا كاين واحد اي واحد اللي جا مثلا من مدارس اخرى سواء في تخصصات مشابهه للمجال اللي هو بغى يكمل فيه الدراسه ولا ولا مغاير ولكن واحد اللي هو اللي عنده علاقه بمجال البحث كيفاش انه يتعامل مع مع النصوص ومع المصادر وكيفاش انه يستعملهم في البحوث ديالو الى ذلك ربما ما يكونش واخده في سيستم اخر هذاك يقدر ياخذه ولكن الا كان جمع الاخرين ممكن انه ما ياخذوش دونك قلت ممكن ياخذ طالب على حسب دراسه الملف ولونتروتيان ولا المقابله الشفويه واحد جوج ولا ثلاثه ولا ربما كاع اربعه ديال الفاونديشن كورسز وهذا الفاونديشن كورس كما قلت الا بغا يمكن لهم ما ياثروش على المده الزمنيه ديال يعني انقضاء يعني التكوين في الماستر الا خداهم كاملين اونلاين اون باراليل مع الاخرين غير غادي يكون عنده ربما الخدمه شويه مكثفه خاص واحد يبقى مركز يشمر على دراعه يشمر على دراعه <تصفيق> وتنظن ان فاش كنهضروا على الليفل ديال الجرادويت ستادي جينيرالمون الطلبات يكونوا ديجا دازوا من 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 يا اما من الدراسات اللي قبل في الاندرغراد وعارفين ان خاص الجد والعمل وسيختو لا كونسونتراسيون بور ريوسي ثانك يو فيري ماتش فور ذيس اوفر فيو دكتور اغنا بوت ذا سكول بوت سينس اي هاف يو ويذ مي از ذا رايت اوبورتونيتي ميبي تو توك اباوت ون اوف ذا بروجرامز هير at uh, the school of humanities and social sciences which is the uh, the the uh, social science masters program uh, master of art in communication studies and digital media that's right uh, that's one of the uh, recently created programs in our school um it's entitled master of arts in communications and digital media um, um it's uh, also a 12 month program and it has two concentrations one in uh, public uh, relations and one in uh, uh design or design thinking or visual communications mm -hmm. um it has uh, 10 courses uh four in the fall four in the spring and two in the summer with a, a research thesis at the end mm -hmm. um this program media media production or design um, uh, في مجال العلاقات العامة في مجال uh, التصميم أو هندسة التصميم نعم. إلى غير ذلك هذا المجال هذا يقدر يعاوننا باش نرفعه من مستوى 
المنظمات اللي كانت تشتغلوا فيها بما يخص التواصل مع العالم الخارجي او حتى التواصل بداخل المؤسسه اللي كان هذه ربما كان في تقاليد قديمه كان خاص لا كوميونيكاسيون تكون اكستير ما تكونش انترنال مهم ان يكون واحد الحوار مع الناس اللي كيشكلوا هذيك المنظمه وكيشكلوا هذيك الشركه تماما لا كوميونيكاسيون هي يو نو تو واي ستريت يعني كنمشي وتجي وخصنا نكونوا كنعرفوا كيفاش كنتحدثوا مع بعضياتنا وكيفاش كنتحدثوا مع العالم الخارجي وكيفاش كنتاكدوا بان المعلومه اللي كنرسلوا كنوصلوها بشكل احترافي ومهني وكتعكس الصوره اللي بغينا العالم الخارجي يشوفها علينا نعم دونك ملي كنكونوا عندنا حد تكوين معمق في هذا المجال كنعرفوا كيفاش نتعاملوا مع مجموعه من من الاحداث منها الازمات منها باش ما نرتبكوش لان احنا خصنا يعني نتعاملوا مع العالم الخارجي بمهنيه واحترافيه وهذا التكوين هذا كيجعلنا انه نشوفوا هذه هذه النظره هذه من الجانب الاخر وكندرسوها بواحد الشكل يعني من الناحيه العلوم الاجتماعيه وهذا نيت كاين في كليات الانسانيات والعلوم الاجتماعيه خصوصا ان اليوم المؤسسات ما بقاش زعما غرض اضافي ولا ان لوكس كما كنقولوا حتى كتوقع شي ازمه ولا حتى كتوقع شي سيتوياسيون عاد كنبداو نطرقوا ولا نقلبوا على كما كنقولوا اخماد النار ولكن هما داخل دا الان في لا فيزيون استراتيجيك ديال العديد من المؤسسات في المغرب وحتى دوليا لان كما كتقول التواصل مهم ومهم جدا هضرتي دكتور اكنو على بعض بعض المسائل فين نقدروا فين يمكن يكون هناك اشتغال توكين اباوت كارير اوبورتونيتيز دي ار فاست نيمرس Uh, because we talked about public relations, we talked about communication, but there is also this side of uh, uh, digital think, uh, 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 digital, digital media. Digital media, we're talking about design thinking. Yes. This uh, master, or this master's program has, yeah. like I mentioned earlier, two concentrations, and one of them is concentrated on visual communication and design thinking, visual. and that's a very important area in today's uh, professional world. It prepares, uh, you know, the students, the graduates, to become efficient uh, communicators, yeah. spokespeople, uh, and also know how to. Uh, you know, develop communication strategies that are effective, efficient, and uh, speaks, you know, the language of today. Yeah. Um, so when we talk about design thinking, it's, uh, you know, for example, how to communicate complex ideas to the outside world and to the lay people. Mm. People who are not necessarily specialized in the field, but still you want to communicate that idea to them. How do you do that through user interfaces? Uh, so we study that as part of this concentration, by the way. Mm. So user interface program is one of the courses, uh, design, uh, you know, thinking in general, how to design any kind of process, any kind of strategy, in a, uh, a website also. Website construction is part of this concentration. Yes. Uh, so this also gives uh, different kinds of skills, tools, that graduates will be able to use efficiently and effectively once they get into the job market. Uh, that's something that will enable them to uh, not only quickly uh, climb the professional ladder, but also uh, you know, shine within their organizations and send that kind of image Uh, that they want to project to the outside world uh, thanks to that. Well, uh, you are a master of communication, Dr. Agno, about this program, and I'm very sure that prospective students will be really interested in this field that is a field uh, of, of, of today more than of uh, tomorrow. It's going to be of t- tomorrow, but it's the field of today. Thank you very much, Dr. Agno, for this uh, this uh, overview and talking about uh, this particular program. It's my pleasure. It's time uh, maybe to see if uh, people who are watching us are really focused in this webinar because it's time for the first question for this uh, quiz. And it's the question is, uh, the master of arts in communication studies and digital media provides practical knowledge in visual communication digital media and public relations it's a true or false question so the uh, first one to uh, answer this one is gonna get the uh, sweatshirt those are b- really basic questions the idea here is to see if you guys are following one up and it's also our joy to offer you uh al akhawain uh, sweatshirt congratulations uh, marwan uh, for uh, winning the sweatshirt congratulations well there are many more to come so stay tuned uh, with us um My next guest uh, is Dr. Uh, Karim Mustaghfir, and we're going to talk about the the program, the Masters of Science in Human Resource Development. How are you, Doctor? Good, good. See Yusuf, uh, uh, thank you very much for for this opportunity to talk about the Master of Science in Human Resource Development. For for those of of uh, our audience who were here for the undergrad program, we already talked about uh, the undergrad program of Human uh, Resource Development, and now we're going to talk about the 
uh, more specialized, I would say, uh, side of human resource development. Is that right, doctor? Yes, exactly. So here we are talking about, about a master's degree. So it's a higher level at level of specialization. And you should know that usually when we talk about, so let me just start with, uh, with this uh, clarification first of all. Yeah. When talking about human resource management or human resource development, uh, uh, quite often we, we, we have this uh, negative connotation in mind that we are going closer to consider humans as, uh, as resources. Yeah. Uh, when talking about HRD or HRM, the perspective is completely different. So here usually when we talk about resources, we are referring to knowledge, skills and abilities that humans could bring to organizations. Mm. What would make them really successful? You should know that in today's economy and particularly in an ever-changing environment, uh, the competitive advantage or the basis of com competitive advantage has been shifting from what is tangible towards what is intangible. Yeah. Look at just this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this university. Without students during the COVID-19, you have buildings, but you don't have actually that organizational memory. You don't have really that uh, uh, yeah. dynamic exactly. that would create really added value. Yeah, of course, everything is going actually online, thanks God. But at the same time, at the same time, we 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 miss that really uh, a dynamic that is always creating value for for the organization. Exactly. So uh, uh, when talking about resources or human resources, we are referring again to the knowledge, skills, and abilities, and uh, mainly that organizational capability to 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 turn those resources into clear add in uh, value processes and also organizational structures for uh, different stakeholders. Uh, often we talk about actually the big tech companies or giants, yeah. uh, the GAFA, we call them the GAFA. So we have the Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook. Yeah, Facebook and Amazon. Success in those companies uh, didn't happen overnight. Uh, uh, their success uh, mainly stems from, 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 from their ability also to manage their, their human resources. Mm. So they have been able also to recruit the right potential and right talented people. They were able also to develop them, to train them, to manage also the right environment for them. So to take uh, leadership, to take an uh, initiative, to nurture also their intrapreneurship, yeah. to work in teams, to develop their team spirit, and turn such kind, let's say, of cultural drivers into a performance, uh, a performance for different stakeholders. Yeah. And I think that this is really important also to stress out. So, and this is what we try also to do through the the master of uh, of science in human resource development. We want our students to understand, besides, let's say, the typical personnel administrative management process, because this is not something that could really add value. It could be easily uh, outsourced also to, to, to other consulting companies. So where we see really that strategic uh, added value of HR managers and directors is when they have that ability to identify critical strategic knowledge resources, leverage on those resources to uh, develop more efficient and effective, let's say, uh, organizational capabilities that will be driving better service, better productivity, better quality for the, uh, the, the finest stakeholders. This is more of like a, a, a bigger uh, view of the bigger picture and the potential. It's more of a strategic view because yeah. obviously we're talking about a master program. So we're expecting this level of uh, strategic thinking uh, when we talk about these programs. So, so, so students undergo this process like uh, through the human uh, resource uh, development. There's, there is, of course, theory, but there's also pragmatic cases there's uh, there's uh, tools and 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 means in order to to achieve that right yeah, yeah uh, right and uh, i'm usually actually reminding my students that in management uh, we don't have really theories yeah because a theory is something that you could generalize regardless actually of the context yeah. of application so in management the context is really important so we study actually different tools we study different good practices but it's a matter also having that ability that aptitude to contextualize them and make sure that the platform that we often uh, call the, uh, the organizational culture is there somehow to accommodate such practices and turn those practices into really performance outcomes. Mm. And this is really what, uh, what, what our participants are expected closer to experiment with throughout closer the, the, the program. So here, uh, again, uh, the success equation in, in organization, and this, uh, this, uh, this explains why uh, Today, uh, the, the HR directors are becoming, let's say, we call them business partners, yeah. service providers. Yeah, They are also part of the strategic board. They are there also to participate in strategic planning as well.
So we study different practices in this program, ranging from training and development through also performance management and development, knowledge management. We talk about also uh, 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 domains including organizational development and transformation. Should know that today uh, inside organizations, we are shifting from also this management by objectives towards managing by values. Mm. We uh, believe that uh, when we have somehow this kind of cohesiveness, uh, uh, around the major uh, driving, let's say, values and principles inside the organization, we can come up with that, let's say, collective intelligence. Right? Yeah. So, and that could affect behaviors like leadership, like taking initiative, like innovativeness, like creativity. That's exactly what would create actually value for uh, uh, for, for for businesses in, in, in this world. And we know that it's a matter actually of also uh, having what we call, what we call it the talent war. So we know that our competitive advantage depends mm. on such strategic distinctive capabilities. Yeah. So we want a closer to track them through HR marketing. Today we talk about HR marketing. So marketing is not only for products, but also for human resources. We want a closer to get the best human resources that would help us uh, materialize and also translate our strategic plans into clear outcomes, clear added value again for our stakeholders. And this is exactly the strategic thinking we try to bring in and also experiment with in, in our program. Well, needless to talk, uh, Doctor, about the career opportunities because we were talking about human resource development and we know it's the, at the core of the strategic uh, positions in, in companies and organizations, even in, in, the, in, in countries. Um, maybe we could, we could hear from one of the, uh, um, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, alumni who, who, are, who is in the, in the professional uh, world. It's Awab Bel Khiyat, who is actually talent lead uh, Maghreb at uh, Unilever who uh, will give us a little testimony about his uh, his uh, his life in, in in the in the in the business world hi my name is Uwe Khiyat. I have a bachelor and a master degree from Al Akhawin University I am currently holding a talent management position at Unilever I decided to pursue my master in HRD after spending some time in the field of HR uh, so the, this program allowed me to use uh, the trends affecting businesses today and also use everything I have learned in discussions uh, around the HR topics to improve uh, and also to help the, uh, to build uh, the HR talent uh, management program uh, within the company uh, and I'm also partnering with business leaders to uh, help them improve the uh, performance of the organization. Of course uh, all this knowledge has been acquired through the different foundation courses that we had such as uh, strategic HRD and consultant in HRD uh, those classes were taught by uh, AUI faculty and also GW uh, faculty. Thank you. Thank you to all our alumnus and alumna who shared with us their experiences. Uh, just a, a small reminder for, uh, uh, we talked about the undergrad uh, program uh, at, at three, for those of you who had the chance to watch it or you can rewatch it on a replay on the experienceaui.com. And we're gonna share also other experiences from people from, from the field uh, that share with us their experiences of the uh, professional uh, world. Uh, Doctor, thank you very much for uh, being with us and explaining to us the this uh, human resource development program. Yes. Yeah, may I just uh, add a, a couple of things. Yeah. Uh, first of all, regarding a close of the program structure. Mm. So it has been, this program has been designed in a modular way with foundation courses, as you already covered this uh, through the, the, the other, let's say, interventions. But we have also certificates, means that the students and the participants should take certificate level number one, certificate level number two, and then electives, and then a final project, not a thesis. It's not really research-based. It's mainly problem-oriented. Okay. So in collaboration with businesses. And this program has been elaborating and developing in collaboration with George Washington. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a, a team from uh, this prestigious university reviewing also our program just to adopt the best practices uh, from also best-in-class universities in the world. Yeah. And uh, uh, in this program, we have a close to the full-time 
but we have also the part-time that is delivered as an executive program where also faculty from abroad from George Washington University, Indiana State University, are also delivering their their, their talks and also their, their uh, specific modules. And uh, and again, in this program, for sure, we need a closer to deal also with, uh, let's say, uh, big tech uh, 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 yeah. companies. So we have been also this IT-oriented perspective being also inter integrated into different models. So in our HR, we seek optimization through uh, HRIS, Human Resource Information Systems. We have also different technologies dealing actually with the automation, how to make different processes much more efficient. We have also the implications of technology on learning itself. Mm. Now we talk about e-learning, we talk about web learning, we talk about innovative learning. So all those are somehow uh, specific instructional design tools that we experiment with in order to come up with, let's say, more personalized and customized learning outcomes. Thank you very much, Dr. Mustaghfir, for uh, an exhaustive uh, understanding of this uh, program. This is really critical and strategic uh, today. Thank you very much, Dr. Mustaghfir. Thank you very much, Yusuf. So uh, we're moving on with the uh, next uh, uh, program we're going to talk uh, about, and it's going to be with Dr. Paul Love. We're going to have a look at the Master of Arts in North African and Middle Eastern Studies. Dr. Love, thank you for being here with us today. Absolutely a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I will have my first question. I mean, uh, when we heard Master of Arts in North African and Middle Eastern Studies, and excuse me, because my ear is used to Middle Eastern and North Africa is, and here we're talking about North African and Middle Eastern. Is it? Does it mean that it's more specialized in North African, giving more importance to the North African component in this uh, program? Yeah. I, I, well, so first of all, thank you so much for asking the question because I think that that's really one of the distinguishing features of the program, um, not only in Morocco but also worldwide. Yeah. And that's because, regardless of where you look in the world, this kind of program typically puts the Middle East front and center. It tends to be a Middle East studies program, uh, whether you're looking at programs in the U.S. and Canada or in South Africa or in Japan. Yeah. The Middle East is always front and center and always the focus. And so our goal, taking advantage of where we are, uh, our faculty and our students, as well as research, research uh, resources more generally in the country, we have attempted to invert that. Yeah. So our focus really in the program is on the place of North Africa in its relationship to the Middle East, whether that's historically or contemporarily, uh, as well as it's an important part of the program that we don't exclude the other areas that North Africa has a long standing relationship with. So for example, coursework and research as well as faculty interests in research extend well beyond North Africa and the Middle East to West Africa, to the Sahara, yeah. to the Mediterranean, uh, to North Africa's relationship with Europe or with the Western Hemisphere. So it's really much, much more expansive than just North Africa. But at the same time, we see as the kernel of the program, the, the center and importance of North Africa. And the idea behind the program, Dr. Love, is to understand different aspects of uh, if we talk about uh, social sciences toward the north african and middle eastern study the idea is to be able to debunk and understand all the because it's always a complex world where we're living and there are different factors there's a culture there is a, a society that is low there is a, a lot of uh, aspects to it absolutely. right yeah absolutely and i would say that if if there is another distinguishing feature of the program it is that multidisciplinary approach to the study of north africa uh, and the Middle East. And what I mean by that is that the program is designed as an area studies program, mm. which is a, a model of curricula in which students are exposed through classes and research to a variety of disciplinary approaches to a central area theme. And so, of course, our areas are the regions of North Africa and the Middle East. But what that means practically yeah. is that students take courses and are exposed to research perspectives from history, political science, gender studies, anthropology, development, and so on. Uh, and what that ultimately ends up doing is providing them with a valuable skill set, a multi multidisciplinary skill set that at the same time is regionally focused yeah. on North Africa and the Middle East. So when we talk about like uh, the, the, the Masters of Arts, 
uh, the, the, the perspective for, for, for students going undergoing this program are uh, infinite, I would say. There's, of course, uh, the path of academia, research, PhD, but there's also practical uh, organization, whether it's countries, NGOs, but also private companies that would be right. interested in people leaning into toward this region. And as you said, maybe this is uh, the unique feature here at Al Akhawain, putting North African studies first, a focus more on the North African, whereas most uh, other countries would put the focus on the Middle East. Right, absolutely. So I, yeah, I would say that historically and, and in terms of the present, the way that the program has worked is that students follow one of sort of two different career paths after leaving. One, as you pointed out, is a sort of classical um, move into the, their doctoral studies. Um, one of the advantages, of course, of area studies is that doctoral field could be any variety of different PhD fields, so it wouldn't necessarily have to be history or poli sci, what you might imagine it would be. Um, but you're absolutely right that there's a lot of other things that you can do besides do a PhD. And I think that uh, the variety of disciplines represented in the program represents the same variety of potential career opportunities for students in the future. So certainly, uh, and I think this is what you were getting at, one of the, the sort of obvious things that comes to mind is that someone could be a uh, North African and Middle Eastern studies uh, sort of regional specialist or yeah. analyst. Uh, and that is a career that can go to any number of different kinds of companies or branches of government and all sorts of things. Um, in addition to that, though, what other people have done in the past and are continuing to do in the present with the NAMES program is that NAMES students often come to the program with a specific goal. Uh, so they're interested in supplementing what it is that they've already done in their academic career or in their professional career with regional knowledge about North Africa and the Middle East. And so uh, an example that comes to mind is an applicant for this year who has a background as a lawyer, and he's very aware of um, the legal context in which he works, um, but he's interested in supplementing that with uh, a better understanding of the legal sphere in North Africa. So it comes with a background in in, in a field, but a willingness to put a focus, as you said, in in in, uh, in an area, and that would be like a natural uh, step to take in order, you know, perfect your knowledge uh, of 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 the of the area. Yeah, definitely. And then at the same time, sort of serendipitously encountering other approaches that you may not have encountered yeah. uh, if you had gone into a specific discipline. So, you know, a student who comes in, for example, uh, with a background may imagine that they're going to continue taking history classes, but it may turn out that year that they end up in a gender studies class and that their their interests are, are transformed yeah. into a very different direction or into development or anthropology or any other number of fields. So I think that, um, I think that the variety of the program uh, can serve as a way for somebody to uh, come in with a goal and to achieve that goal through coursework and especially individualized study. So yeah. an important thing to mention about the program is that it culminates in a thesis project. And this is a thesis project that's entirely designed by the student and is done in cooperation with one of our specialist faculty. Mm. And I think that um, actually faculty is another thing that's worth mentioning about this program because in addition to the focus on North Africa that distinguishes it throughout the world, it's worth pointing out that I would be confident to say that there is no other Anglophone university in the world that has the same concentration of faculty working on North Africa uh, here uh, on campus yeah. with students there to supervise your research, there to teach your classes. Uh, so, And that are in North African soil. <laughs> abs yes, absolutely. I mean, the, the location of the program is, is one of the biggest uh, value added. Yeah. Uh, for people who are interested in exposure to the region, there's there's no better place to do it than here. And also, of course, it's a fantastic opportunity for our Moroccan students to uh, interact with students who are coming from all over the world to study this region. So the, the mixture of faculty and the mixture of students are definitely uh, uh, value added as well. Exactly, and I'm pretty sure that the discussion are, are, are really interesting back and forth and our, our arguments are, are always welcome. Thank you very much, Dr. Law, for Absolutely. all these uh, information about the Master of Arts in North African and Middle Eastern uh, Studies. I'm going to go back to our uh, audience just to ask them a follow-up uh, question, and it's the quiz question, as you know, time for you to gain, to, 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 to win, so, sorry, <laughs> just uh, to win a, a sweatshirt. Which program can allow you to become a regional analyst in the MENA region, Middle East and North Africa. Is it human resource uh, development, North African and Middle Eastern studies, or communication studies and digital media? 
I think the answer is pretty obvious. We'll see who got it uh, right first. And congratulations to Matthew for winning the Al Akhawin sweatshirt. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to move to uh, a second uh, program and um, we're going to, okay, so they are telling me uh, we have a little bit of technical difficulties. I believe you can hear me, but you cannot see me, but it's, We we're just trying to fix it uh, really uh, quickly. Meanwhile, we can hear the sound of the birds uh, that are really, I would say, more pleasant than the sound of cars and traffic jam. We're back, and you had a glimpse at the <laughs> offstage uh, ambiance we have here. <laughs> thank you for tuning in, and thank you for uh, being with us. Really sorry for this uh, little interruption uh, that is due to a technical uh, issue. We apologize in advance. We were uh, going through the programs, uh, master's programs here at the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, and it's time for us to talk about the Master's of Art in International Studies and Diplomacy, and it's my pleasure to have with me here Dr. Jack Kalpakian. Hello, Dr. Kalpakian. Thank you very much for having me here. I'm honored to be able to represent the program today. Thank you. Thank you very much. So um, we we'll talk about the Master of Arts in International Studies and Diplomacy. We already saw a little bit of the undergrad program, but here we believe we're going to go to a next level of uh, specialization uh, in it. Dr. Kalpakian. Okay. Uh, the master's degree program looks at beyond the, the uh, the introductory and the fundamentals that are offered in the bachelor's degree. Yeah. Uh, while the bachelor's degree has a serious research component in the capstone, it requires a, an internship. Uh, the master's degree goes into some more of the fun, more fundamental questions surrounding international relations and international studies in general. Yeah. It's international studies at the Lahawain, meaning that it's broader than just the political, which mm. is international relations. Um, we have a, a one-year program, like every other master's degree. We have three foundation courses for those who do not have the background in international studies, and these are available online for all students to take if they want. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we have uh, five classes uh, for the core, which me means the thesis itself, the methods course, uh, international political economy, advanced international relations theory, and Moroccan foreign policy. And beyond that, the students get to select the remaining courses, the remaining five courses themselves, uh, which gives them a wide degree of freedom and uh, compared to other uh, uh, situations where similar programs are offered elsewhere, mm. especially abroad. It's it's one of the programs that uh, has been here quite for quite a while at the University Al Akhawain with quality uh, alumnus and alumna representing the university in different fields in a government and non government uh, uh, organization. The process, as you said, is like a twelve month where you go in depth into the mm -hmm. international uh, studies and, and and diplomacy. And I believe, Dr. Kalpakian, it's a, a mixture between uh, real life case studies, but also a lot of a uh, lot of uh, uh, giving the right tools and skills. To, to people to be successful in, in their future career? We have a methods course. Yeah. And we, of course, given the nature of the topic, you have to talk about factual things. Yeah. Um, otherwise, you do not have salience and currency. Uh, 
And uh, definitely our program has been around this long precisely because we do c try to cover both tracks. We try a policy track, so there are practical things students learn, and they, we use simulations both in class and now increasingly online mm -hmm. to get students to um, apply and see some of the dilemmas facing uh, the world. For example, we have conducted virtual Manahasset negotiations. Mm -hmm. We've conducted virtual Geneva roundtable negotiations. And uh, these are, of course, of prime concern for Morocco. Yes. Um, and uh, we do a lot of things here uh, to get the student acquainted with the real world application of the discipline and of the issues that go with it. Mm -hmm. uh, the discipline is composed of other disciplines. It's inherently multidisciplinary. Uh, very much like area studies, but we differ in the sense that we have a, a far more focused theoretical body of knowledge the student needs to have in order to uh, advance. So, obviously, there are opportunities because we are a, a public university mm -hmm. uh, for, for for graduates to work in the in the in the public sector. Uh, but but there are other opportunities elsewhere. Like what what kind of uh, opportunities can be there for for graduates from this program? Over the years, our students have shifted. Uh, mm. They used to go, half of them used to go to the to state employment of various kinds. Uh, now we still have the, a large number that go to state employment, but we're not talking about the same numbers anymore. Yeah. Uh, many of our students find careers in banks. They find careers in think tanks. They find careers in the corporate world particularly in the government relations offices of the corporate world. Mm. Uh, many of them join NGOs and or in a management level or um, at uh, beyond just the activist and field level. Uh, so the bottom line is our, our uh, students have and graduates have gone into many, many fields. We have two uh, alumna who uh, one is, is in parliament, the other was in parliament. Yeah. Uh, so the reality of the matter is our students have had very diverse and uh, divergent career uh, paths. Um, a lot go to government, but a lot choose to go to the private sector. It's uh, maybe the right opportunity to introduce mm -hmm. uh, our our next guest, and she is uh, an alumna. Works for uh, she's a project associate at the UN uh, uh, Women uh, Intisar Al Mukhtar, who shared with us a little bit of her experience. Hi, my name is Ntisag al Mukhtar, and I am an Al Akhawain University alumna and a Mays program graduate. My experience at AUI and with the Thank you very much and the having. Masters of Arts in International Studies and Diplomacy was simply exceptional. This degree allowed me to gain experience and knowledge and open new opportunities for me. The MAIST program and its entire structure made it possible for me as a student uh, to access a variety of classes and subjects from politics, conflict management and resolutions, to diplomacy and international human rights. This master's degree presented me with tools that I use today uh, in my work especially that I chose to invest myself in the field of human rights-based program implementation. Thank you very much, Ntisar uh, Al-Mukhtar, for sharing uh, with us. And to, uh, Dr. Kalpakian for being with us and sharing uh, the, the, all, all, all the information we needed to understand the Master of Arts in International Studies and Diplomacy. Moving on to next program, I'm really excited about this one. It's with Dr. Uh, Biliana Popova, who's going to be here and talk to us about the Master of Arts in Islamic Religious Studies. Dr. Popova, very nice to have you with us. Hello, C. Yusuf. It's a great pleasure to be here and to introduce our program, Mayors. Uh, I use the acronym, but actually you, you're right. It is a Master of Art in, in Islam, Islam and Religious Studies, so both. Let's start, uh, Dr. Popova, but by, by explaining maybe and making something uh, clear here. Uh, when we talk about Master of Arts in Islamic and Religious Studies, we're not talking about theology. We are definitely not talking about theology, and I'm very proud that actually AUI offers this precise master's degree uh, because it is quite unique in this, that it focuses in the studies of Islam and religion from the perspective of social sciences and humanities. 
uh, which means that our students can focus on the development of Islam yeah. within society, its role in society, in cultural relations and multicultural re relations, um, its uh, importance and positionality actually vis-a-vis -vis yeah. other global religions. And that is why uh, the master degree in, um, has many faculty which are also multicultural and from uh, offer different perspectives like uh, anthropology, from um, uh, ethnography, but also histori history and uh, pr practically the whole spectrum of social sciences is embedded uh, in this framework through which we study Islam. So it's and, and it's uh, really interesting uh, because uh, there is uh, so much diversity within uh, the Islamic world. So it's uh, uh, full of uh, resources, full of uh, uh, of uh, interesting information to learn about, right? Absolutely, um, <laughs> you're right. So should I? So, oh yeah, sorry, yes. Doctor Popova, we have yeah. a problem with the with the video. Yeah, actually, ah, they, could, okay. they could hear us fine. They but we're gonna us. just try and and make the video. I I believe is uh, uh, fro frozen, but it's gonna it's gonna come back in a few seconds, and we're in gonna pick seconds. up on, on, on our uh, discussion discussion. back thank you uh, again and sorry for uh, for this uh, little technical uh, problem we are dr uh, popova and we're talking about the master of arts in islamic religious uh, studies and we were just talking about the aspect of uh, studying islam in a, a social science uh, from a social science point of view. So it's more of studying of the um, uh, place of Islam in societies and the role it plays in uh, those uh, different uh, societies. Absolutely. And you know, the, the problem with, uh, no, it's not a problem, but the thing with religion is uh, it's a bit tricky, of course, yeah. for all of us and for every person on earth, I think, especially because uh, many of our religious beliefs are so embedded within our cultural and social status beliefs as well. So it's difficult uh, many times to separate them. Yeah. And then uh, thus to actually employ them at our best um, uh, ab uh, abilities into our social lives. So uh, precisely that's why this uh, program enables students to or uh, to uh, rationalize uh, yeah. their beliefs and to uh, employ them uh, more successfully within their uh, lives, but also to understand other um, uh, other forms of Islam. You know, this program is one of the few that does not focus only on the, for example, Arab or Muslim context. Yeah. It does include Islamic practices and beliefs and understandings from other ethnocultural uh, contexts, such yeah. as starting from the Amazigh to yeah. Uh, yeah. in Morocco to the uh, countries, like you said, in. Um, in Asia, the various cultures in Iran, the various yeah. cultures within Pakistan yeah. uh, and other countries which are uh, non-Arab but are predominantly Muslim. Yeah. But also we do have um, an emphasis on countries, on the cultural aspects of countries which are non-predominantly Muslim but do have a significant uh, minority um, yeah, or Muslim communities. Uh, the other important thing is uh, that this master uh, gives an opportunity to to uh, different people with different interests. So the, we have two main tracks, two main study yes. tracks. Uh, the first study track is for people who do have a strong religious background, strong Islamic studies background, and they wish to uh, gain more knowledge about um, about uh, the Islamic uh, practices across the world. Yes. So that's uh, rather, uh, if we have Muslim scholars from Morocco, uh, we uh, give them more opportunities to interact with Muslim scholars from across the world. Either uh, we often uh, invite leading scholars on campus, but also on webinars. And we try to, uh, you know, provide opportunities to people to interact and exchange ideas about uh, policies about, yes. uh, you know, companies, uh, work ethics within the Islamic framework. 
The other study path that we offer is for people who don't have um, a, a religious background, yeah. but they want to engage uh, and acquire a deeper understanding of the origins of Islam, of its historical development, but also uh, of the biggest topics that we deal from within the Muslim framework uh, of the 21st century. Yes. So these are the two main tracks, but the beauty, in my opinion, of this uh, program is that we have a variety of other courses that students can choose from so that they could um, they could construct their own study path yeah. so so that it is so relevant to their own um, uh, you know study interests so for example we have courses which um, which allow students to focus on different aspects of Islam in the medical field from the social po uh, science point of view, not from the medical mm. point of view, uh, but things such as the relationship between doctors and patients, the, the, the work ethics within a hospital, Islam has a lot to say about that. Yes. And, and it, it has great principles and theories. We offer uh, this possibility to, to, uh, to explore them more. Uh, we have courses that focus on the uh, um, theoretical and um, uh, on the theoretical yes. perspectives of finances and banking within Islam, <laughs> and I have a beautiful. We have a, yes, we have a, <laughs> yes. we have a, actually a surprise <laughs> guest. Is, uh, it's a it's the cat from here. It's a small it's kitty, it right there. Yes. It's okay. <laughs> it can be part of the of the of the program. Actually, this the is the university. beautiful thing about the campus. <laughs> to tell you the truth, that only apart from the nature, we have um, apart from the beautiful roses, we yeah. have also small cats and um, exactly. beautiful other birds. <laughs> so so uh, yes, we're talking about um, uh, the complexity of uh, the, the Islamic world, especially that today. Maybe uh, we 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 talk about a very actual uh, subject. Uh, there is a, there is a, this drive to understand, this drive to analyze uh, uh, the, the the Muslim world, and it's a, it's a very interesting topic. And you, as you said, there's two two uh, two kinds of like uh, backgrounds. There's the strong religious background who wants to take the social science perspective on it. And there is also uh, people who are outside this world who wants to understanding better and be fairer in their understanding maybe of the social uh, science aspect of uh, islam absolutely because islam uh, first of all uh, islam offers uh, a wide range of theories and practices like all first of all it has a great heritage but we're not focusing only on the heritage we're yeah. focusing on the current practices <laughs> uh, this is my dear friend and uh, 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 let me give you an example yes. there right now how many companies are global most of the big companies exactly. are also global but the one of the major problems is when you want to copy paste as if a practice from one within one culture to another culture and this is what uh, the mayor's <laughs> I'm sorry dear viewers <laughs> yes, you're right. we're having this a cat um, actually... <laughs> uh, with us, uh, on this webinar it's the first time we're very happy to, <laughs> to have a cat to it's tell okay. the truth Islam has also uh, we this is a good idea to develop a new course now uh, <laughs> yes. uh, on Islam and animals you know <laughs> and the protection of animals which we don't have but we sure enough will yeah. include from next year um, but uh, what we have, the courses that we have enable people who are, for example, from within the business, uh, yeah. say, for example, somebody is graduated, has an undergraduate degree in a business field. Yeah. But then they want to participate in a big cor corporation which um, uh, transforms practice or rather transports practices from one country to another. Say it is a great Japanese corporation which has to uh, have uh, dealings with the Middle East or with the North African region. Yes. Well, this knowledge of the Islamic practices is, uh, crucial. is absolutely crucial. crucial. Uh, uh, Doctor uh, Popova, uh, we see that there's a lot of opportunities. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, and 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 uh, for this for this master's program because, uh, as you said, I mean uh, there is. Um, a growing need to uh, understand, especially as you said, for, uh, when we talk about the private sector, for example, uh, the corporate world, there's understanding uh, about these countries for for business opportunities and uh, business uh, uh, business um, uh, uh, business Dealings. opportunities in, yes, in, in general. You're but right. there's also the research part of it that is really really interesting there's uh, uh, the doctorate that is uh, really really interesting but there's a wide and wide variety and uh, usually people could uh, 
think about this program after a professional career and thinking, okay, I want to specialize in this field. I want to have more knowledge in this field. So maybe uh, as a lawyer, as a journalist, as a, a writer, as a maybe we can think about cinematographer or, or a movie maker. I want yes. to have a more specialized understanding so that I can analyze better and make better products. Well, I just wanted to to uh, propose that we listen to Badr, Badr Din Ziti, uh, who is uh, the religious advisor and executive at the Ministry of Islamic Affairs, who's going to share with us a little bit of his experience. Thank you. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. I am so glad to participate in this experience IUI episode. It is an opportunity to share with you my amazing experience at IUI. In fact, the Master of Art in Islamic Religious Studies was a great opportunity that helped me achieve my dreams of academic interest in which I and some of my friends in this program have published five books and several articles in English journals, in addition to other publications in Arabic. This master paved the way for me to improve my career, uh, to improve my academic skills, and to have a career that I am proud of. In this occasion, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all my dear professors, to, uh, professor for assisting me in laying such a, a strong foundation towards a more professional success. As alumni, I feel committed to encourage all postgraduates to enjoy this amazing program. Thank you so much. Thanks again to uh, Badr Din Zichi, who I remind you is a religious advisor and executive at the Ministry of Islamic Affairs. I would like to thank also Dr. Dr. Biliana Popova, who uh, exposed really precisely, and it's as, uh, something, a subject that we want to talk about uh, for hours and hours, uh, Masters of Arts in Islamic Religious uh, Studies. Um, we've seen a, a vast array of all the specializations that uh, the School of Humanities and Social Sciences uh, offer here at Al Akhawain uh, University. Time maybe for a third question and the third quiz question for a third uh, Al Akhawain switcher to win. And the question is which programs have dedicated full time faculty specialized in their field? Is it international studies and diplomacy, Islamic religious studies, communication studies and digital media, or all of them? I think I have the right answer. <laughs> okay, good luck to everyone. And congratulations to Safa, who won a third Al uh, Akhawain sweatshirt. Uh, all right, so uh, we, we, we've we been talking about uh, the, the large array of the uh, master's program proposed by the School of Humanities and Social Sciences, and we would like to have your opinion. After this information session, what do you plan to do? Confirm your application, apply to one of these bachelor's uh, programs at AUI, seek more information about the program, or compare these programs at AUI to other national and international programs thank you for your answer and interaction throughout this episode it was a pleasure to do it here live from al akhawain university i just want to remind you that just after the end of this webinar and if you uh, maybe uh, happen to uh, join us in the middle of it or at the end of it you can re-watch it immediately on experienceaui.com you can re-watch the previous episodes we have uh, we talked about the school of business administration school of science and engineering uh, make sure to talk about experience AUI to your friends who might be interested in joining us in future session we meet every sunday at 3 uh, p.m thank you all and uh, i will wish you a very nice beginning of the week good luck for those of you who are taking your baccalaureate exam thank you and goodbye <laughs>